So it can't be zero. Now, that's what I mean. So how then do you do this? So let's assume that Amplos has done all this stuff. So how does Amplos protect itself? I'll give you an example. First thing Amplos will do is his name. I'll protect this name because I don't want anybody to use Amplos. So what I'll do, I'll use trademark. No, a trademark. I use it here. I'll go and restart here. And I'm close at the TM. Did you notice that I've never talked about you starting a business? I'm going to say you're not starting. You've not even, you've not even shipped any products. So I already started at the TM. Right? I'll trade markets. So nobody can use that my permission. But do you know another trick that this can do? I cannot use. Okay, let me not go ahead of myself. See, I'm using Ambient and so that's why it's filtering. So, pardon me. So, I'll TM this. This. Then, the asset that I'll print, the courses, I'll copyright them. If I print new courses, I'll patent them. Then, the name of the course, I'll TM them. Then, the way I design the brochure, I'll protect it with design protection. When I wrap that up, I can then decide, you know what? Let me take all this thing that I'm protecting, destroy it here, and send it to somebody who will that will use the same thing, but be paying me 50, 60 percent. Let me use it for someone in Lagos that also be paying me 50 60 percent of every student that comes in. Let me use it for all over this country. You see, that's what we call scale. But I think I've jumped to the entire. That's what I mean by scale. I don't like English, but if I ask the question, I don't want to tell you this. It makes my heart to Am I confused? Of course, I'll hear you. Do you do you follow what I'm what I'm trying to say, what I'm explaining? What I'm explaining is that the way you've learned how to use the law and how to build a company is not the way to build a classic company. You've been doing it wrong. We've been doing it wrong. We've been doing it drastically wrong. There are better ways of building a company, but it begins by thinking differently. It begins by thinking in terms of um, let me use the law to make money. It begins. It's difficult to What's your look? Okay, so tell me what's the problem? I just want to know what the problem is. What's the problem? Who are we well offended? Okay, I, I guess it's just a shock for some of the things you are hearing. So let me take it like that. Right? So, so those are the things. So now if you but then but see them, but just imagine this scenario. You set up Amplos. So one day I come and ah, but Amplos, ah, I like this your name. Or you just be going on the street, you just see another guy, you just see, you know his name. His name is M Plus. Right? The fight starts. His name is M Plus. Say no 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 no. The guy is M Plus. So you know if they can't say the same thing, M plus and M plus, they are very too similar. Or the guy spilled this logo and then this will be I said, I said plus, it's your problem. I just spilled this logo and said I said plus. You said, no, you stole my logo, stole whose logo. Meanwhile, this has become very popular. Anytime anybody sees this, they see M plus. If the guy sees the logo, he will not put I said plus, he will not put on any logo. So anybody that sees the law associates it with Amplos. I see the law as, what do you have any questions to ask? Thank you. Uh, let me ask, you listed out where you're talking about the creation of the mm -hmm. like, Yeah, you listed out on scale, on the way to the How is this scale different from the normal registration of business people? Okay, your business name does not protect you, CSA. 
Your business name does not is not trademark. Your business name is the name which you should do business. Right? So it doesn't protect you. So you can register. You can register have clothes. I think you have any goods. I just want to register a trademark also for ramblings. So when you come there and you want to register and put as a trademark, they tell you that somebody else has it. So you now need to pay me for me to give it to you. If you don't, I'll drop it forever. So it's different from the business industry. Yes, please. Let's um, say if you want to do it, without help doing it, and doing it, and you just want to equalize it with the different niche of business. Is that well, no, nobody does that. What they do is that they have one company. They have a. Yes. You heard that meeting for companies. The, the, name of, the name is not that good now. That is for companies. Then they have flower men. Each of them is a company on its own. Right? For the conglomerate, it's one name. It's a conglomerate because they have different companies on that. Is that answer your question? Is that what you But see, if I'm advising, if I sit down and I want to advise, I will already say don't give it to you. Don't do this. One of the things that you need to learn, uh, let me give you an example of the way I like to think. I like to think like this. I don't need anybody to know that I own six companies. It's, it's not your business. You don't think so. In the way I like to think, I don't think it's necessary. But I'll see the making of them. I come to know what you do know that I'm the major shareholder. I don't see how to not put anything in my head. But when you want to carry shoulder, you like to know, you, you know, you know I run, I mean, for women I run. Right? But if you are like my temperament, I don't care. I want to be able to, to be traveling to New York and I'll wear shorts inside here. You think I have money? Fine. You think I don't have money? It's fine. You understand? That's, that's me. So, most of the time, if I see that I want to advise on problem, I'll say, you don't need it. What do you need it for? What advantage does it give to you? The only advantage most of them use it for is for tax. What do I mean? So, if there's a conglomerate here, and you have different companies that have different companies. So, if A makes 10 million, 30 million, B makes minus. C makes 16. This makes this minus this million. What they can do, they can transform all of them to this guy, right? And then you remove this one from the total problem. Just find a way to scheme or something. So the, the conglomerate is actually used more of the time to reduce their tax, their tax burden. Right? That's why I say it's a bit of skin set. It's a bit of skin set. But my own idea is. I want to own a lot of things, but I don't want to ever own them in my name. And then nobody will know me. I don't want to own them in my name. There's a reason, let me just say that there's a reason why a lot of people use companies. Because companies are separate from the people. So I own them in the name of the company I can transcribe. I own it in my name. If we run into trouble, they can come and take all my property. But I own it in the name of the company. If the company runs into trouble, the company will have to be for it's not me. Separate from company. So, if I, if, I, if I have a company, the car I drive will not be in my name, it will be in the name of the company. The company gave me the car to drive. So, if, so you can't tax me individually for the car. You know what I would do? Anytime I afford the car, it goes to expenses. So, I'll remove it from the tax of the company because I'm using it. So, even my own house that I built, I will. Transfer it to the company as as um, rent. The company will be paying the rent, so I'll just be paying less tax. They are just fantastic ways of playing around the tax. And like I said, I, I don't want to go deep into all that. I don't. I don't think we're ready for that. I just think that the major thing we are really ready for is how to build, and that's important for us. Yes. Yes, boss. Oh, record that. Yeah. What are the steps to take to restart your trademark? Like your logo. Okay, your logo. Yes. Okay, 
Okay, first of all, you know the way website when you do a logo search to find out on that person on website. What you know, you know. A logo has like basically two components, three components in shape, type, and colors. Right? Shape, type, and colors. I'll give you an example of this. You see? Like this. The way it's written. If I wipe this off, you know it's not the same thing. You have to come and look for Yeah. So once you're going to register it, so you're registering the full, the shape, um, the type, right, and the color. That's what you're registering. But you know the trick we do sometimes, when I found the register this, I'll register. How many colors can I see? Blue, blue, red, yellow. I understand the variation of it. I understand the variation of it. So first of all, you do a search to find out if another person has registered it. The ones nobody has registered it, you will not be allowed to. But if somebody has registered it, you have better have one chance. Then the Lord deliver you. I would like to know the like a platform where we can uh, register our trademark, like in oh, Nigeria. Okay. Also, um, Ministry of Commerce. I think there's an office of the trademark. Let me check. like trademark registration. Yeah. I people Nigeria dot com. Intellectual property. I people. Yeah, I view the uh, government. I view Nigeria as possible. Simple. Right. What about for, for content, like the course content? Maybe a video course or a written course. How do you protect it? Oh, okay. This guy is doing, this guy just won't feel advice. So let's just give him small rest. Okay, so let's do this. Alright, so we do course content. Course. What are the content? You said video? Yes. So you have video? Yes. What goes into making a video? Like? Of course, you need a script. Yes. What else? You need a voice. Apple. Yes. Did somebody record the voice for you then? No. You know why? You'll pay. I hope you know that the person voice has, the person has the right to write voice. Yes. yes. But I mean, if I was a person, I would not allow you to pay me. But I also say that for every one person you sell, you pay me from the bus. Then, I hope nobody is here. That's why I ask. Is anybody here that you're calling No, I'm doing myself. Everything myself. <laughs> okay. This is voice is protected by copyright. Okay. This script is protected by copyright. Yes. What else? You know the video will have to be designed. They will have to be designed around to be designed. It's protected by your time. The name of the course is protected by its name. The name. Yeah. If I were you, when I develop this course, it will not be my name. It will not be. It will not be. What's the name? My name is Dobra. What? My name is Dobra. Dobra. Yes. Okay. Ah. Let me not look for Dobra. It's supposed to be Dombra, B. Yes. It's Dombra. This is new. I'll use this. See what I'll do. This is just free. So this I'll be copyrighting it here. Yeah. The uh, intellectual property. But this is what I'll do. Remember I talked about structure. I will sell it in my name. I either have developed it. I will have a company called, let us be confused, persons. I'll be looking at you. What's the name? Table. Table. Ah, no. I'm not Fibo. Okay, so let's do Fibo. Fibo X2. You need to. Right? So that will do. Okay, and I'm the one that created this. I will transfer the ownership of all this to this company. Hear me out. I will ask the company to be paying me a percentage. But you know that this company is part of my own company too. So I will ask the company to be paying me a percentage for every company itself. So let's say it's 700, I'll say it's baby. Okay, let's say, let's do 40%. Right? 
right? So you know what happens? If it's paying me 40%, you know I'm seeing anything about this case. That's why I say this thing is cool. There are just ways around it that you can shoot for your income. But you know the funny thing, if I'm the one now that designed, that did the voice, I'll also be collecting a percentage from the voice. If I'm the one that designed the script, I'll also be collecting a percentage from the script. But it belongs to the company. But then they know that thing. It's something, I think I said about, okay, if you do a lot, if you do business, you find that there are two components of business. There's creation and distribution. Say this distribution, you master distribution you are made. Okay. This is not a business class. I'll not talk about that. But you see the distribution. If you master distribution, if you have a good product and a bad distribution, it's the least. A good product, you have a fantastic product. You know, your product is it's it's the best. I may not be taking domino pizza. Have you taken the middle pizza? Yes. Okay. Have you taken uh, what ice cream have you taken? Please don't tell me if I'm nice. What ice cream have you taken? Okay. What is the most popular fast food joint here? Otris. What does I have? It's all right. It's taking us there when we are done with the market. But see, I want to talk about distribution, right? Okay, I think I just noticed I've been venture from law to products, right? I think I, I want to go to the products, I don't know why I'm doing products. But see, if you have a good product, okay, when I'm in Lagos, there's one chicken I eat, it's not English, it's a KFC chicken. If you eat KFC chicken, if you eat KFC chicken, eh, and you eat another chicken in your life, we will check you. This guy, <laughs> why are you like that? <laughs> you, eat a, you eat chicken like that food. You know what I mean? You eat chicken. Chicken is spicy. KFC chicken. But you know that distribution is only Lagos. You don't have that. So to now satisfy my test, I will then go and try chicken bomb. You know the shopping thing, Chicken Republic, it's, it's, it's closed. There's, the one in there, there's a Chicken Republic and KFC. Vice versa. Right? They sell all the same thing. But we go to there. I'm dealing here with distribution. So KFC distribution is very weak. They are not to worry. So if I come to worry, I go and eat. I, I eat Chicken Republic. Depends on the whole time. Right? So, you see this distribution? Distribution means how do your product get to your final consumer? If you do not see, people have bad products that the distribution is fantastic and people buy. Have you come? come think about the worst thing that you must eat by whether or not you don't have to buy. What? What happens? You know, you see the distribution, there's this guy that goes around. Well, okay, let's just start. You just hit on something. Have you noticed that every pure water company they are aggressive about their distribution? Like you take a pure meter. They no 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 come collect. We we won't give you. If you have, there are some now that instead of supplying to one place that you go and pick, there's no worry. We will bring it to you. So they are aggressive about their distribution. So the one that is not aggressive about their distribution, just I don't make your time. People want to what I mean, and you wait for the office. The best will not be able to try in this circumstance. So if you are creating a product, see that this is also goes to you. You see this place? You see this place? See, let me see it. See this place? I'll leave this on the board. See here. This place. Let me do it again. This place. Yeah. This is where business is that. The phone you are using, the earpiece you are using, the shirt you are wearing, the distribution are going to you. If they make it and keep it in the factory, I say, you know what it means? If God says we will sell, if God says we will sell, this is a spiritual thing, you know, Africa. You know, this is a very spiritual thing. If God says you will, your product, even your product, if God says you will work, you will sell. 
I think the, the money will be your own, you see, come to you. The hunger, the hunger that will affect your spirits, right? So if you mark, so and distribution is in different forms. The digital distribution, obviously, it's also physical distribution, but if you master distribution, you try. You try. For example, we, nobody makes Apple phones in this country. Nobody makes Android phones. I use a Samsung phone. Nobody makes a Samsung phone in this country. Most of the time, Samsung phones we buy, they are made in China. How does it get to us? Now, that sometimes, to even buy a Samsung phone, it's, 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 there will be places here that you say, you say Samsung phone, I guess. How come? See if you want a Samsung phone, you just need a Samsung phone. How come? It's a solution. But that your product that you created here, I that says you worry, I've never heard about it. So your solution is to go back. So we enter the law, we come to the solution. Is that your question about the solution? Alright, so that's it. Across the unit. Yeah, I'll pass the solution. Because the only guy was to say you want to have your skill, you can just go in your own place or anything. That if you don't sell your product, you have to work. Your product has to go in your Distribution is everything you need to do to get a product in Including sales. So the question then becomes, do you know how to sell? I hope you know that everything you need in your business has a legal part of it. Even your sale has a legal part of it. If you sell through the wrong channel, you get into trouble. Right? If you sell making a false promise, you also get into trouble. That's why. This, what I do is like I tell people, you see, everything about business is in the center. Law is around it. One mistake and law can collapse your business. That does not mean to scratch your head, but it just means it's fine. What is, okay, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Right? I know of a guy during the COVID worry, he gives this app that you can, through Bluetooth, you can test. When anybody has COVID, and then you can monitor and then to read. When he, after I been developing it, it was foolish. Now came to me to tell me that uh, he was pushing it to a problem. I said, It's not fly. You know, when you tell people the truth, sometimes they just get at least, Why are you doing I said, Bro, it can't fly. Number one, there's a right to privacy. You can't ask the government to force everybody to use it. Why? Every individual has the right to privacy. So if every individual has the right to privacy, you can force, if you force me, no longer have a right. Because what you are saying is that I should tell you my medical condition. Every individual. I didn't notice, that's why when people were complaining that time, that they keep saying that the numbers of people that have COVID, but nobody was telling us the people. They can't tell me because an individual has the right to privacy of this person. Except he comes out to announce it. So if you then want me to be monitored now, so that somebody somewhere will know my health condition, if you can't fix it. Right? No, he can't feel So I told him that he got invented. He, he, he profiled him on Channel TV. At the end of it, oh, he won. So what he, he was building something that was against the Lord. So the Lord destroyed it. The Lord didn't care whether or not he had worked on it for three months. Not the Lord's problem. Right? So you need guidance of the Lord to build. Don't stop me there, that. Then if the Lord does not allow you to build, what you should do then is how do we change it? Not like, mm, I bet you don't agree that you don't consign me. That's how failures build. You ask, how do you build it? How do you change the law? How do you change the law? Yes. So the solution is key. About services. What pattern of this is to have and then Wait, when they introduced me, they didn't introduce me as a solution guy. <laughs> Say my name is Steve. Say I'm a lawyer. Yeah. Okay. And so, come on, as a solution guy. Distribution, yeah. What kind of. So, don't get stuck on distribution, on the word distribution. Get stuck on. It's fine. How do I get my, myself, my product to the consumer? Every means that gets it to the consumer is distribution. But well, Felix has been a fantastic guy in some of those areas, mostly in marketing, in digital space. But what you need to do is, 
people. Don't build and sell to the consumer. Understand the consumer needs and build for the consumer. I don't need to understand that difference. Just like the guy I gave, he built a product, but he didn't build it. He didn't understand the consumer before he built it. So he built it in his mind, he's building something that the consumer needs. When you have the biggest thing in every business is to understand your market, your consumer, the guy that will use your product. If you understand your consumer, you understand where do you receive, where, where, where is that distribution channel? It's not from your brain, it's from the consumer's part. Say, say pure water guys, for example, you know that this, this type of water, they won't sell it in every corner. They won't sell this in every corner, but they will sell the such a water. Because they realize that not everybody that lives everywhere will just pick up and I'm going to drink what's what's up, how much money there, pure water, how much? Ten. Ah, ten. Ah, ah. So there's a target market for that type, target for this. So once you do that, you understand the distribution. Then, so so it's your market that's I mean, which channel you use. That's the thing you should look for. For example, if here, what service do I render? You, you have to drill your customers to the barest minimum. What do I mean? We sell full stack development. First of all, is there a market for full stack here? People that want to learn full stack. Who are they? Where are they? What's their age? What's their sex? There's no assumption. Where's their sex? Well, who has influence over them? So do they have the money to pay for it or somebody that has the money to pay for it? If it's somebody that has the money to pay for it, it is not them you market to the person that has the money to pay for it. So, but well, that means you have to know that why do they want to study marketing uh, full stack? Why do they want to study full stack? If you know why they want to study full stack, that's the thing you are going to channel your message to us. So you, so that's why you keep asking those questions. And then, so when I come to you and say, I am, um, I am, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm a student of, um, yeah, if, um, let us see investing. I want to learn to start. You say, no, sorry, you are not a uh, market. This is the market we are targeting. Right? If you don't differentiate your products in that sense, you won't do it. 